The YouTuber just bought the biggest black diamond in the world, even though it is at the center of a Bitcoin fraud. Which is the problem. Also, we'll take a trip down memory lane to look at the important coin that changed the way people thought about the crypto market after a groundbreaking partial win against the SEC. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, watch this new video as soon as possible. Hello, and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest news from Shiba Inu and the world of cryptocurrencies in general. If you've never seen one of our films before, we want to give you a very warm welcome. We want you to click the bell so that you never miss a movie. Now, let's get started. Richard Hart is a leader in the crypto world and a YouTuber. For many people, he lives the dream life. Because of this, the number of people who follow him on social media is always going up. He takes pictures of himself in front of a Lamborghini and shows off his Rolex watches. He also gives advice on how to get rich and is sure that if he does these things, he is making the world better. As the saying goes, though, not everything that shines is gold. The business owner and social media star is in the middle of a big fight about his company. Since he has been charged with cryptocurrency theft by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, we will see that its size is not small. Hart just spent millions of dollars on himself to treat himself. The Enigma was the name of one of the nice things the YouTuber owned. It was the world's biggest black diamond that had been cleaned. A 555.55 carat stone with 55 facets that may have been made when an asteroid or meteorite hit it. So many people were interested in the diamond that 71 million of them saw a copy of it. But this special stone sold quickly for $4.3 million in November of last year to a buyer who didn't want to be known. The deal was paid for with bitcoins. We found out later that Hart was the one who made this choice. In honor of one of his works, the diamond would now be called the Hex.com diamond. The money from the YouTuber who ran the fake businesses Hex, Pulse Chain, and PulseNex was used to buy the diamond and other expensive things like watches, luxury cars, and luxury items. Hart told investors to buy stocks in exchange for crypto assets that he couldn't keep track of. Then, he tricked those investors out of their money by using some of their cryptocurrency to buy expensive luxury things. A message from the head of the SEC's regional office says, Werner, Eric. Concerning Fort Worth. Hart started selling Hex in 2018 with the claim that it was the first blockchain certificate of deposit with a high return. And the company started telling people that investing in Hex tokens would make them rich. According to a paper from the U.S government. Between December 2019 and November 2020, Hex's offers seem to have been made at random and against you. S. Federal rules and laws. Among the claims are also the recovery of money, a technique that involves moving money from one exchange to another using fake addresses to hide it and make investor funds look bigger. This led to a complicated plan to steal millions of dollars, which led to a charge by the SEC. It's important to point out that the investigation into the YouTuber's finances is still going on, and no criminal charges have been brought against him yet. As we've seen, the world of cryptocurrencies is still young, and while it's exciting, it is also a good place for scams and other problems that could hurt customers. One of the most famous cases is the fall of the FTX and Lehman Brothers, both of which were cryptocurrencies, at the same time as the fall of Luna. The SEC recently sued Binance, the biggest cryptocurrency platform, for stealing millions of dollars and breaking U.S. laws. By the way, let's take a trip down memory lane and look back at the great coin that changed the way people thought about the crypto market with a groundbreaking partial win against the SEC. Please remember to subscribe to our station and also to hit that bell. To be the first person to know what's going on with Shiba Inu. Ripple has won its important legal fight with the SEC. The effects don't just affect cryptocurrencies, but also any future disputes between the cryptocurrency business and American regulatory agencies. The problem is figuring out how much cryptocurrency is a security. A key question is how much they might be needed as extra cash tools. Southern District of New York Judge Annalisa has written about this problem, which is so divisive in the business world, for the first time. 
Taurus says that XRP, which is a digital token, is not a contract, transaction, or scheme that meets Howey's standards for an investment contract. In other words, XRP, Ripple's token, is not a security that can make money for someone else. As stocks, for instance, can. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, of the United States has been suing Ripple and its coins since 2020. The regulator says that since 2013, the token itself has been used to make gains of up to $1.30 billion. If Ripple had thought of XRP as a security, they would have been breaking the law by dealing with unregistered stocks. Most people know about the legal battle over Ripple and its XRP currency, but similar arguments could be made for other issues affecting Solana. Cardano, Modich, or Binance USD. Since this is the case, the cryptocurrency industry sees this decision in favor of Ripple as a win, even though it is not yet final. If it were so easy to say whether or not XRP is a financial asset, the hearing wouldn't be so long and hard. The judge points out that XRP was a security when it was first sold by Ripple to institutional buyers who wanted to make money. It was no longer one when buyers and sellers on alternative markets could trade it without being seen. That is, by giving and taking. Whether tokens are considered financial assets or not rests on the knowledge and experience of the people who have access to them. So, what is the main difference between stocks and commodities? Well, for these buyers, XRP was a financial asset that they could use with other assets to make money in different ways. Instead, it was just a way for people to buy things with imaginary money through exchanges. This idea says that Bitcoin is not a security in any way. Even the SEC doesn't say it's not true. It is a commodity because of how it is made and what it is made of, which makes it hard for a small number of buyers to change its value at will. For example, they could do this by removing tokens or making changes to a small number of them. If the judge looks at the case this way, the people involved will be able to sleep better. The SEC has sued platforms like Coinbase for illegally selling these assets, so this is a setback for them. The legal director at Paradigm, Justin Slaughter, said that if this line of thinking is used, it would be very hard to show that secondary token sales are securities. The SEC is about to file an appeal, but even if they win on appeal, they will probably lose in the Supreme Court. What's the point of the Howey test? In his argument, the judge refers to the 1,946 Supreme Court case SEC vs. W. J. Howey County, which describes a financial security as something that meets certain requirements. Ripple and XRP meet all of these criteria. As institutional buyers, wealth is tied to the success of the company and they can hope to make money from others. But the SEC says that this way of looking at it is unfair because anonymous buyers through exchanges get less help. John Reed Stark, who used to work for the SEC, says that this is unfair and goes against the basis of U.S. Securities rules, because treating XRP as a security